How are y'all today? We are here. I can't believe I figured you didn't sold that two S. We uh we have a lot of interest in it. Uh everybody's liking it. It is white. Everybody's gotta think about white, right? Whether they wanna try to keep it that clean or not. So it's a lot easier to keep clean than any other color I've ever had. We've we've told a lot of people that. We uh we were so close to getting a guy to buy it and he held off one week, but this is, I figure between him and his boss, they both really liked it, so. Well, they might as well go on and buy it. You won't find one easier to keep clean, I know. Cause well, that's what I told them. I said, look. It's just like a car, you know. You don't see dust on it. You don't see the pollen that comes in on it. But also, nice. as soon as you get that grease on it, you're going to wipe it off because yep. it's right there. On a black one, it has to get really <laughs> thick and, you know. Yeah, it has you to have be to see the like where it changes the from yeah. shiny to greasy you'll start wiping the black one down thinking you're just getting the dust off and you'll have an oily yeah. rag before you know it <laughs> that's true like, what the heck happened here well i say you gotta either you, you either you're packing up and moving or y'all got something big in the case there and that's a big old case that is a big old case um y'all must be going on vacation not going on vacation oh that's a monster of a case but it's for good reason okay you know, um, let's see. Is there any way to prop that up on that? Yeah, there we go. Holy cow. Yeah, so normally in today's society, everybody goes smaller. Phones are getting smaller, everything else. Well, then they started to get bigger. You notice phones have started, everybody wants a bigger screen. So we did the same thing with a scanner. Good Lord, that's a 32 inch flat screen TV in there. It's, it's a big scanner. <laughs> it's a big one. But I'm super glad they did it. You know, we kind of touched on it when I got back from Expo that the screen was going to be bigger so that we could do split screen. Uh, it was going to be bigger so that we could have a bigger battery so it would last longer. But also, it does a lot more. This one comes standard with the four channel scope. Right. Uh, we've had a lot of good feedback on the scope of how easy it is to use. Um, it also has a um, deal with it that it'll help you use it. It'll kind of walk you through the process. Mm -hmm. So if you've never used one, it's, it's not uh, it's not just a huge deal. You're, it's going to help you through it. Of course, it comes with a different cables uh, that you'll need. Uh, it comes with a battery deal as well. Um, but once you get into it, your four-channel lab scope is right here. Like I said, this comes standard. This is not something that you're gonna have to order or anything right. like that. If you order this scan tool, it's gonna come to it, with it. Uh, also, another good thing, the only the only issue we heard was, hey, look, I just bought the three with a heavy duty. Why would I need to go to the four? Mm -hmm. Well, if you if you bought the three, you can definitely trade that in. But on the heavy duty, it'll transfer to this one. So, but you're not gonna need. You remember when you did? The demo on the other one, we had the two boxes and it yeah. had the big gray. You don't need that gray box no more. It all goes through the same dongle now. So all you need is the software. So if you've got an up-to-date, up uh, if you've got the HD software, it transfers to this and then you're just using the same port. So you so don't- So that comes with a nine pin, six pin, all of that? It comes with uh, a lot of them. Um, there was one that it didn't come with that they said never really got used. The order was very low on them. You can still order it if you need it. I forget which one it is, but um, there's some of them there. Right. Um, but yeah, so you can order this, whereas the other one, you ordered it just a car one, you could add the HD later. But if you bought it just HD, you couldn't go back. I think they, they took care of that on this one. Um, but also, so if a guy bought it to start with as a car, he can, then he can add the HD. He can or add if he the, bought the HD yeah. one, he can add the car yeah. to it. Um, but it comes standard with the plugs, so you've already got it. All you need is the software, right? Because you've done cool. got the dongle, which I'm going to, I've got a, I'm still setting this one up. Um, it come in last night. I started the setup process and had a lot of other stuff going on. So I'm getting it all done, but um, I'll have the HD and stuff hooked up to it before long. But it also comes with your different pins 
and stuff like that for your lab scope. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't use it, you're still gonna get it, but you're also gonna get the attachments and stuff like that. So when you do decide, you know what, I wanna give it a try, because you've already bought it with a scanner, <clears throat> you're not having to order it. So it's a little easier to say, okay, I wanna try the lab scope out. Yeah. You don't wanna try the lab scope out if you're having to spend $2,500, $3,000 on a mm -hmm. lab scope buy it try it oh i don't like this so with it coming with it you're gonna you're probably gonna see an uptick in people using it because they're gonna they're gonna learn how they're gonna see how it can help them so i believe it's gonna you're gonna see the uptick plus we always got to ask on the three um with the lab scope you know does it have it stuff like that so no it didn't come with it we, well does that one is it a yearly subscription you have to pay, or how does that work? Uh, well, it's it's the same as the other one. Uh, we we do recommend updating the scanner, um, but once you buy the software, the software is yours, so it's not going to. So not if you update you it with the twenty one, and then you don't in twenty two and twenty three, it still works with still the twenty ones. Yes. Okay. And then That's when you one. update it in twenty three or twenty four or twenty five, it updates the years that you didn't have too that's there's that's all you can ask yeah, for right there. um they also because it is so big and bulky and you're like how in the heck am i gonna be sitting in a car and it, have it between me and the steering wheel well this is made to hang over the steering wheel right. but with this bigger screen when you're running that lab scope or you're looking at that data it's going to allow more data on the screen it's going to allow a bigger scope um and all that good stuff but like you said it's a big old tv right that thing's a hoss but it is still wireless, so you can still sit it on your toolbox, hook up what you're hooking up, and then go for it. Of course, when you start hooking a lab scope up and stuff like that, it's a little different, but um, I've got some of it set up, so we're, we'll do a quick one. Um, this is the new screen that they got on here. Um, as you can see, we turned it into uh, band scan, okay. um, and that was because a little bit of a I forgot what they called it on the last one, on the three, but there was, it confused some people. They wasn't quite sure what it meant. So they, they changed it to Vinskin to um, help with that. But also this CAN bus pin detection, that's new. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of calls with, hey, the scanner's not hooking up to this car. The scanner's not hooking up to this car. Well, it, it's not that the scanner wasn't hooking up to this car. Part of the issue was the CAN bus was down. So when we would get there, we'd send their computer off because they told us it didn't work. Well, then it would get to the repair facility about a two week process and then, hey, the scanner's good. So we get it back and we hook it into a different car now. And, oh, well, it does work. So we hook it back into that one. Oh, it don't work. So this now will let you click on that. And plus, a lot of people wouldn't send their scanner off. They, they need to go check in on a different car, but w what's down on the, the CAN bus, right? because you got the high side, you got the low side, mm -hmm. you know, or high speed, low speed. I'm not sure quite remember what they call those two, but um, so this, this is a nice little feature. It does have the scope on the home screen. This max battery, um, that's pretty cool too. Um, vehicle voltage, but we're just gonna go into the demo. Um, on the demo, they actually added a couple more brands. Okay. The last one we just had a Ford, I believe. And people's like, okay, well, that shows me what I can do on the Ford, but is it going to help me with a Toyota? Is it going to help me with a Honda? Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we can show you a little bit more. I know this ain't all the brands out there, but it does touch some of the major brands that you're going to work on every day. Right. So that does help. But I, I worked on Toyota, so I'll just click on Toyota and go into it. Of course, it's just going to give me you know, an average 2015 Toyota. So we'll click on it. We'll tell it that we got it on. Here's what I like. Here is, you know, we, somebody, the, uh, I'm gonna mess that word up, topology, what, what is, uh, somebody said it the other day on the topology or something like that. Um, when you have a electrical diagnosis or electrical issue, if this is down, it may stop something, or say ECM, right. it may stop the rest of these. Mm -hmm. So, but, we know then that okay the problem started here because the ec didn't the ecm didn't read but what if we get to the bcm and the bcm is bad but these two are setting codes too because they're after it right well on the other scanner it would just set codes for all of them which is going to set codes too but this one is actually going to scan each one in line to tell us 
where our problem may be at. So if we do have a lightning struck vehicle or something like that to where there's a bunch of different stuff just going bad, well, then we can simply see what we got here. Now, it may be bad enough that it takes out several of the first computers and we still got a hard time, right. but at least we have the capability to see that. Um, if you don't like that, just hit system list. It goes back to the way our other one was. So if this one, if you're one, uh, if you like to stick with the old way, that's perfectly fine. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like change, um, but we, we can go back. I think that's a good feature that they did to go back, um, just just so that it's you know an option. Another thing you're going to see is the calibration up here. We've been getting a lot of questions about, well, can I do the front radar? Can I do this? Can I do that? Well, guess what? This system, this this scanner, is actually capable of doing it. Now you do have to buy the targets mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I mean that's just common sense, you know. I, yeah, we'd love to do it without targets, but that's really how it programs it is a right. target. So, um, but at least we have that. If you're a body shop or something like that, it may not be this year. It may not be in the next five years, but at some point. There's going to be more and more of these camera systems mm -hmm. and that higher price for the targets is going to seem a little bit more reasonable because you're either going to start subbing out a bunch or something like that so right. you know it, as it comes it will be more and more which it's going to do the same thing it's, it's going to let us scan it and stuff like that of course it's got the calibrations and stuff like that and then you know we can go back to our health report as well so uh, I think that's really cool and a couple of different reasons um, but mainly just to know that we're going to be able to do some stuff I'm probably going to, there we go I thought I was going to hit the wrong button but let's just go in, it says we got two codes in the ECM just click on it it'll come up right here, it'll tell us what it is um, you know, it's supposed to tell us exactly how to fix it right, right. well not quite, it does tell us the codes uh, and we can click on it hit code assist, which is something new, but you can also the max fix Max fix used to be something that you could choose to get, but you didn't have to choose to get. You know, it's it was one of those things that you could pay extra for it. Well, they've decided now that they're gonna include max fix in the updates. Mm -hmm. So when you update your scanner, it's gonna update the max fix. However, um, the code assist is something different, but either way, we can hit enter, and then we get back to our regular where we can check the fault code and stuff like that. Um, so we've we've got the lab scope, we've got the uh, other features and stuff like that, all really cool. But we can still go in and you know read the data stream and tell it what to do, select different stuff, um, special functions. I mean, speed stuff up, slow stuff down, cut stuff on, cut stuff mm -hmm. off. Um, that Valtronic is something else that's becoming a lot more popular too. Um, just more and more technology as it comes. I'm probably forgetting something on some of this, but does that one still have like the drive test and stuff like the the other one had on it, where, uh, where you could go back and play it back? Yeah, yeah. So, so you can has the freeze frame, and freeze all frame, that. and all that. Yeah, it's still got all that. Which remember, this is this is a demo, so it does have every one of them. Which when you update yours, it will too. The only thing about this one is is um, when I put my HD in, it'll actually let me do an HD demo too, right. which it may let me do the demo now. But they, they did system scan on here um, just because uh, trucks are a little different. Their vans can mean a couple different things. Mm -hmm. You know, it may, it may be a Volvo, but it may have a different transmission, stuff like that. But we can go into it, and I'm completely lost at this point because I don't know nothing about big trucks. But right. um, we'll just hit the buttons, and then we're right here. Um, data stream it, it'll give us all the different stuff um see i have no idea what j1 1941 stop means i don't, I don't know but either way it means something special i'm sure but you know here's the disable and the injectors i know that's kind of pretty important diagnosing yeah. the injectors and stuff like that it seems like anytime i try to sell a diagnostic scanner to a big truck shop they want to know injectors well yeah. do injector stuff this one does SCR injector. resets yeah, so, you know. Read it, all your DOCs and all that. So, <laughs> so, I mean, 
Yeah, I'm not even going to pretend like I know anything on HD. I don't, but the, the main thing is is that it does have a demo on the HD now, so that helps me more than it helps everybody else because now I can actually show you all a little bit of it. Well, the main problem you have with big trucks now is just emissions. I yeah. mean, well, if they would go back, if they would pull emissions off of big trucks today, whatever year model they bought, like your truck, if you pull yeah. the emissions off of it, you'd probably be good for about 15 years you wouldn't need well like, other than oil changes and some seals you know and, and ac work and that's that's pretty much and all tool trucks on. are not exempt from that because i'm going to tell you 99 percent of the time that your dealer's not running because his trucks broke down 99 percent of the time mm -hmm. he's already got on a group chat and showed a picture of an emissions light wanting to know hey is this yeah. something simple and everybody's like nope you know it's 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 not you know it's it's just terrible but I understand the reason they're wanting to do it, but there's a flaw in the system. Yep. And we ain't fixed a flaw yet, so <laughs> we need true. to back up and punt. <laughs> um, but that is what it is. But um, here's like a maintenance reset. So say we get here, and we don't want to go through all this. We don't want to hit VIN scan. We don't want to go down and select, which you don't have to go down and select unless the VIN scan don't work. But you hit the VIN scan, and you go into it, and then you're going to do a health. We don't want to do all that. We want to do something real quick. We want to do ABS bleeding. We'll just click on ABS bleeding. Or brake reset, coolant mm -hmm. bleed. I mean, it gives us all these different. That's nice that you don't have to sit there and wait on it to scan. Right. Well, and Chevrolets are the world's worst about if you do a tune up or disconnect the battery or sneeze the wrong way, you got to redo the electric throttle body. Right. You got to relearn the plate. Well, that's good. Just hit magnet reset, hit throttle relearn, let it do it, let it go, mobilize or reset. So, how many times have you hooked a scanner in, going to program a key? and you have to go through all that of you know not found this that and other you have to go manual because if you if the key's not on it's not most of the time it's not going to do a vin scan so you're wasting all this time getting these error messages about you got to select it you know pick this pick that mm -hmm. what's the 12th letter in the alphabet you know all this stuff <laughs> just go in and hit a mobilizer reset and let's get started right so that way we can go ahead not sensor reset uh, we saw by the missions there we go uh oil light reset if you're if if you're doing a quick oil change, um, you're usually not making a lot of money on it anyway. Yeah, you don't want to sit there waiting. Which I know that most of the time you can hold the trip button down, but if you can just plug this thing in, hit reset, why not? But start and stop reset, we all know there's coming more and more mm -hmm. common as well. Uh, I've never had to do a roof, uh, sunroof reset, but I do know they get hung sometimes, and you know you have to hold your breath right, pulling the trigger back and forth, and eventually it'll do its own little reset procedure. So that may send it, send it up a little quicker. Um, transport mode, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, one of these, either transport mode or battery matching is the ones that I hear a bunch of. I can't, I don't know which one it is, but on BMWs and stuff, they'll go into like a, when you change the battery out, they'll go into where like the air comes on full blast and certain, the radio won't work and stuff like that. And most people say, well, you gotta take it back to BMW. No. I can't remember which one I clicked on on the three, but I clicked on one and it did it. So I know the scanner will do it. It yeah. takes it out of probably transport mode because I think that's what it was called. Transport mode, like when they come off the trailer, mm -hmm. that's what they were in to save the battery. So I'm pretty sure I can probably click on it and read. Uh, yeah, so Benz, Jaguar, Land Rover, Volvo, Acura, and Honda to deactivate transport mode. So there you go. Um, that tells us that that's what that was for and I could have saved myself not knowing what it was by just clicking on it but either way so still got the toolbox you know max fix saver boards um there's that big uh atis again which is you know we talked about it a while ago it's becoming more and more top common still got the feedback button because we do want to hear tech to tech that's something that if the this ain't something that i can make better this ain't something that maco can make better well i'm sure maco can make it a little bit better uh offer y'all's feedback but we can't make it work without y'all being willing right. to click on that button and share your information or help somebody else out. Mm -hmm. Like, I know you don't have time to stay on all day long, but every once in a while, it's good to click on there, which I ain't got it hooked up to the internet, so it ain't gonna do nothing. But there's the update button. We wanna hit that update button as often as possible. When we buy that update, you know, we got that year, let's click it once a week or something just to see right. what we got. Um, of course, because this is the four, we can, hook the video scope to it we can hook all that other good stuff up to it the max drive we've talked about that a long long time ago i still got one hanging on the wall somewhere where 
if you're having that intermittent mm -hmm. issue, you plug it into the car, they go drive it. Hey, it just did it. Okay, unplug that deal, come back, and then we get the data off of it. Right. And we can see what's going on. So, uh, And we wanted to learn some stuff about the scanner. We could hit about, and we could go from there. There's the scope there, the, the, the Max 4 scope. Um, I think the big, big selling feature on this one is the fact that we can do split screen. We can do uh, the lab scope. It does come standard. We're not going to make you buy it outside. Um, and there's several different ways. I think there's three or four different ways you can buy the scanner. You can buy just the car and car and truck or just the truck. So I guess three ways. But, um, you know, just a little bit of a dis um, distributor success story, I guess. It wasn't me. It was another distributor. But he was letting us know that he sold one of these into a shop. Uh, and it was probably a pretty good shop off of what he said. But... Um, he sold one of these, you know, Max 4, brand new, hasn't been out that long. They used the scope. The next week he comes back and he sold another Max 4 right then because of the scope, because of how easy the scope was to wow. use, and somebody else ordered another one right then. So he sold three of these wow. into one shop. Now, if the scope is that easy to use, I'm ready to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I get this fully set up, I'm going to be plugging it in and uh, looking at a crank sensor or something just wow. to see because, you know, that's one of those things that we've talked about many a times that people don't know what it is, don't really know how to use it. It's, it's, it's pretty hard to use when you use it because you don't know what's good. So if they've made it that simple to use, mm -hmm. this could be a game changer. Should be a game changer. Well, I know a guy that was like that with a power probe. He's like, I'm not messing with a power probe. You know, Jeff at Baldwin Truck and Trailer. He's like, I ain't messing with a power probe, man. You burn stuff. I said, no. So I kind of showed him how to use it in like 10 minutes in here. And I loaned him one of my older ones. It's like a power probe two or three well like two weeks he comes back and he brings it back he had stopped at Napa and bought him a brand new and he said man he said after I started playing with this thing he said you can do a lot with it I was like yeah and it'll be the same way with that you know you just gotta well you just gotta be willing to try you, it, you gotta you know? be willing for change if you wanted us to go smaller on our scanner we went the wrong way for you mm -hmm. but it's for good reason you know the split screen on this is going to be really helpful because if you've got the codes up over here or the data list, you went to your max fix over here and you're looking at what it's telling you to look at and you're looking at it right then. You're not flipping back and forth. It's going to speed that up. Yeah. Also, we do have previous sections on this one as well. So if you work on something, as you can see, I clicked demo three times. Um, it didn't find any codes on this one. It found codes on that one. Of course, the HD demo, I need nothing to show you. But they had told us at Expo that they had been using it for about a year and it still had the very first. Wow. So. It's going to hang in there a while. <laughs> yeah. So, it, you know, it's it's going to have this, this, this list down here that of cars, but it brings the most most recent up to front and then you can click on it. You can go, you can go by date. You can go by make. Um, so it, you're going to be able to go back. And, and that's that's a key point there because. If a customer starts blaming you for something, uh, and you can click on this right here and go, no ma'am, let me show you. I scanned right. it at this time. Here's the codes that was in it. It was already in it. Cause you know, once you do that health report mm -hmm. and it scans through all those, even if you only focus on engine, cause that's what they want. They, they don't, don't worry about the ABS yep. light. Don't worry about this. You have these codes and you can say, look, when I got done with this thing and I cleared the codes, cause when you clear that code, it's gonna run a quick check. Look, I cleared the codes. There was nothing in it. And then, I didn't realize that most people didn't know this, but on almost all brands, when you go into a certain of these data lists, it'll show you how long that code's been on, how many mm -hmm. miles since code set. And and I was at a shop, uh, this ain't with the Max 4, you know, it, I didn't do it with it, but I was at a shop about three months ago and they had a lady just raising cane because a lot come on and they swear up and down that it come on the minute they left and this, that, and another. That's fine. So we you know they come out to the truck and they were like you know telling me about it and i said well because the technician that i was waiting on was stuck dealing with that you know i said well just simply look see how long the code's been on well what do you mean i think they had did i forget what they did they did some old change or something simple you know they hadn't right. they hadn't hooked to it you know they couldn't give her a print out of the code because they didn't hook to it it was something simple oil change tire rotation something i said well see how long the code's been on well how do you do that and it was with a snap-on scanner. Mm -hmm. Plug into it, hit on it, 
and go to it, see how long since detail. So we was actually able to show, the, I wasn't, I just told them how to do it. I went and showed them how to do it on the scanner. Y'all deal with the customer. I'm out of that, you know. Yeah. But they were actually able to show the customer that it was on for almost 500 miles. Mm -hmm. 500 miles. They didn't do it, you know. And when they had that proof in front of them, she couldn't argue no more because what's yeah. she going to say? You know, so that actually shut the situation down. They changed it. Well, how much will it cost to fix it then? Right. Well, now we're talking about how to fix the light. We're not giving it away, mm -hmm. right? So whether it, it don't matter what scanner you've got, whether you've got mine, somebody else's, whatever, make sure you know how to use all the features of it. Make sure, make mm -hmm. this scanner work for you. The scanners are too high for you to be just clicking buttons and barely getting by with it. You need yeah. to make sure they work for you. Make them earn that money back for you. Mm -hmm. So. I know that's why I do a pre-scan and a post-scan and I put it in my file. Yeah. And if it's a good customer that, you know, I don't care, I'll obviously give them a copy of it too when they leave and that way they'll know. But yeah, I always print out that pre-scan and post-scan. Well, and that all just goes back to, um, this is going to tell me that there's an issue, I'm sure, because I ain't got it hooked up. But that all goes back to just you know knowing your scanner and, and protecting yourself right mm -hmm. in this world if you don't protect yourself um nobody's gonna protect you because you've got them good customers that would believe you but you got some of those customers that's, that's starting yeah. to lie to get you caught in a lie right mm -hmm. you know they know good and well that it was it was already on but if you give the slightest little door of well i don't know i didn't see it well if you ever tell the customer well my technician right. didn't see it but he's not sure well you're then, stuck, then. You're stuck. Yeah. they're saying they didn't it wasn't on the technician doesn't know you've put yourself in that position where you can't back out of it mm -hmm. you can back out of it if you'll just hook a scanner to it find yeah. that feature see how long that code's been on protect yourself because i know i know the customer's always supposed to be right and i know there's a long uh, you know a sermon that we can go on, on that but here here's the deal that type of customer will always try to cheat you every time maybe mm -hmm. that's not the customer you want you exactly know if they right. spend that money that's fine but if they're not spending money and they want this freebie, they just paid nineteen dollars for a tire rotation, and now they're wanting a two hundred dollar ABS sensor or something. No. But anyways, here's where the CAN bus checks. It'll just show you the different. It'll actually light up, you know, and, and go from there. It won't actually do it without it plugged in. Um, but that's one of those things to where maybe that's a, a something to talk about with a customer. Hey, I know we were going to charge you fifty dollars to scan the vehicle and see what the code is, but look you've got this this wrong that it won't let us do it we're going mm -hmm. to fix that first you know right. uh, if you if you don't do that and you spend an hour fixing this and then you get this fixed and you spend another hour doing that we you should have charged two hours diag that's exactly. just the way it is but that's just a quick rundown of it um you didn't show the best feature what would i not show the change in the colors yeah um let me see if i can figure out how to do that i forgot about that honestly uh so we go into see we go into settings, color theme. It'll give you all these different colors and stuff like that. But they also have a feature for where if you're colorblind, it will it will make the color to where it will help you. Uh, and I don't remember. I don't remember where that was at. That's pretty cool. So just different colors and stuff like that. I, I don't really remember how they told us to do the it was something about the different colors and stuff like that but as you like if you're colorblind you can't see certain ways so it will actually invert it so yeah you see oh that's better. cool but that's just one of the many things that so we had a lot of people telling us that when they we would go in maco would go in and talk about scanners and stuff like that that's one of the things they would say well that's great but you know, I'm colorblind, so it's really hard for me to use the scanner anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things they wanted to make different. They wanted to make it to where they could, the lighter background towards the front. I forget all how they told us about it and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's that's one of the things, too. So, you know, if you want one of these other colors, just click on it, and then it'll pull you back up, hit run diagnostic, and then next thing you know, you've got a different color that stands out nice and bright. That's pretty cool. So, see? I, well, I forget stuff too. I but. guess for the hard question, how much does those run? Uh, they run different prices. I'll type this one in right quick and look it up. Um, like I said, it comes in three different ways, so it really all depends. Let's see. Let's see. It is a little bit. It is a little bit more to put up because it's you know it's a little bigger. The box is a little heavy, but 
I wouldn't want this thing getting hurt if I just bought it, so the bigger box is fine with me. <laughs> True. Which, you know, I still I still tinker on cars every once in a while myself. So when I saw that it had a lab scope, it was no question. I was getting a demo. Yeah. Um, because normally that's what I'm dealing with is an electrical issue or something like that. So if nothing else, we showed all the things that I remembered anyway. Well, that's I'm, a nice scanner. Well, and there's more stuff that you can hook to it. There's actually like a battery tester and stuff like that that you can hook to it. And they're making it all nice and well. Uh, I'm just gonna move it out of the way for now and then I'll... And then when you decide to move all that to your toolbox, and put it in a drawer where it's easy to access, you can yeah. go on vacation to Disney World and <laughs> yeah. use the case. <laughs> uh, type in on the search screen, MD Max 4. Yeah, that's a hoss of a case right there. It is, it's not something that you wanna be dragging out to every car. You know, you're, you're really gonna take out the stuff that you use the most often mm -hmm. and that's what you're going to put in your box um but it's definitely something that you're going to lock up all right so you can buy it the car line set which is uh it does the what you basically see there for it looks like 69.99 um and then there's a car line heavy duty set uh, it looks like that does both for eighty nine ninety nine. So there's so pretty much seven thousand for cars and nine thousand for cars and trucks. Yeah, somewhere in there. So there's there's a couple of different. Like I said, there's a couple of different options and stuff like that. But yeah, it looks like uh, if you was to get it just for the truck, you'd be sitting at seventy nine ninety nine. So, but either way, um, several different options. Um, Man, for a thousand dollars more, I just seem to get the truck and the car. That'd be crazy. Yeah, which, like I tell people, you know, I know somebody said the other day, you know, stop being afraid to say the prices. It's not that I'm afraid to price to say the prices. It's just they change so much. I don't mm -hmm. want to promise you something that's not there, right? Right. So this price may be good today and gone tomorrow. They may be running a special on it. So. True. Uh, it's something to talk to your dealer about. But that happens everywhere. Like yeah. you could say, "Hey, I went to J.C. Penney's yesterday and I bought this pair of shoes for yeah. thirty-nine dollars." And then you go there today and they'll be like, "Well, the sale was yesterday. It's yeah. seventy-nine dollars." Well, and I know that in certain areas they're they're rotating this um, promotion. So in your area, it may have already passed. In your area, it may not come up yet. But they're talking about doing a trade-in program too. So talk to your dealer and see if the trade-in program is active right now it's for you know bi-directional scanners so um if it's done been done in your area good if it's not been good in your area even better um but reach out and see if you're looking for a new scanner and that's something you want to do reach out um we all own our own business right you know mm -hmm. maco doesn't doesn't tell me how to rub my truck or anything like that um, there is rules and regulations but what i'm getting to is ask if he's got a demo if he does great Maco doesn't force demos on us. We don't have to buy the demo. So right. if your dealer don't have it, he may have not uh, got it, or he may still be waiting on it. So just find out if it, hey, are you getting a demo? You know, I, I'm looking to get a scanner, can I use it? But definitely a lot of good information in that thing for sure. There you go. All right, guys, well, hopefully that answers everything you wanted to know about the 4.0 Maximus, because Michael did a great job with that. Like always, if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You guys have a great weekend, and we will catch you later. See ya.